the live sunshine today Oscar night is over we have everything done we have the winners on a list right in front of me and I had my predictions so I'm going to be running down who I thought was gonna win if I got it right and who won and talking about just like if I think they deserved it or not but before just this gets started just forewarning don't come after me because I don't know that much about m deep movies. I know more than most people, but like, because obviously this channel and everything, but I don't know most things deeper than just deep, if that makes any sense. So don't come after me. Th that's my just consensus that I don't know what I'm talking about. So we're just going to start, uh, we're just going to do like the main like 15 or something, just uh, because if, if, if I did all of them, it would just take too long. So best picture. I put down La La Land, I thought that was going to win, and then it did win, and then it got taken back, and Moonlight won. Now, honestly, Moonlight did deserve to win. I do think it deserved to win. I just put down La La Land because it was tied for the most nominations of all time in the Academy Awards, so I thought, you know, most likely it's going to take the best picture, so I thought that I was almost right, but then uh, my second choice was Moonlight, so uh, that I do think deserved it. Actor, best actor in a leading role, Casey Affleck won. He was my first choice. I did think he was going to win. It was 50-50, though, between him and Denzel Washington. I just wanted Casey Affleck to win more. I talked about this in Manchester by the Sea. I don't think that he should have won just because of who he is as a person. But, like, there's no denying his performance. And it was on par with Denzel Washington, so I just didn't see, uh, just, like, who was going to win, but I picked him and I ended up being right. But Denzel Washington was my second choice. But Casey Affleck did deserve it, but I don't think he should have got it. This actress, Emma Stone. I looked over this too fast, my uh, ballot. I put Meryl Streep just because I was like, fuck it, she's going to win 20 nominations or something in her life or 20 wins or something. I heard something like that on the pre-show. And I was just like, you know what, I'm going to put that down just because, you know. And then um, she was my first choice. And then, um, wait, was she my first choice? Mm, yes, she was my first choice, and then Natalie Portman for Jackie, which I do think should have won. I do think that Natalie Portman did a really good job in Jackie, and I do think she did a better job than Emma Stone. Emma Stone, if Ryan Gosling didn't get the award for Best Actor, then he shouldn't have, by the way, he shouldn't have gotten that award, and Emma Stone shouldn't have gotten it over Natalie Portman, for sure, so I think that uh, Natalie Portman, probably because she wasn't there. Maybe that might be it. So, um, I think Emma Stone was probably the best one after Natalie Portman, so. Supporting actor, Mahershala Ali. He was my first choice. I wanted him to win so bad. I mean, he's just like the GOAT, I think, you know? Just not I think, I know. He's G-O-A-T. He is the GOAT because of just like he his performance in Luke Cage, his performance in House of Cards. Then he was uh, in Moonlight and he did really well. And his attitude is really, really cool. I just like his person, his him, his personality. So I really wanted him to win, and he won. And I really do think that he deserved it. So no problem in that category. Supporting actress, we all knew Viola Davis. Like he, nobody even hesitated when the guy opened the envelope. Viola Davis. He just said it because everybody knew it was Viola Davis. Everybody knew she was gonna come and just snatch everybody and just say, get the fuck out, it's my stage. She was walking up the, sta the steps before the name was even announced because she knew damn well that that was her award. But and everybody knew, so I put her down as my number one pick and then Octavia Spencer was number two for Hidden Figures, but that was just like not gonna happen. Everybody knew Viola Davis deserved it and she got it, so good for them. Animated movie. I picked the right one, Zootopia won, and I thought Kubo and the Two Strings might win, but then I was like, eh, I didn't see any of these movies, but just from what I've heard around the buzz, it is that Zootopia was going to win, so I was kind of, you know, just being like, okay, whatever people say, because I kind of just put my faith in them, because Zootopia seemed like a fun movie. I didn't know it was going to be Oscar nominated, though, I would have gone and seen it, but uh, yeah, that one, I have nothing to say, because I have no dealings in the animation department, so... Cinematography, La La Land was just like, that's one of the only categories I think that La La Land should have beaten everybody. It was, it was so good. It just like, just the different shots of just different things. And they, they, there's compilations on YouTube and there's the shows that, the Oscars showed it when they gave them the, the award. 
and the cinematography was just unmatched by anybody else. I thought maybe Lion would have gone and uh, maybe taken it, so that was my second choice, but I did put down La La Land because I wanted it to win, and it won. And you guys know, if you follow this channel, how much I like cinematography, so I was really looking forward to this category, and I'm really glad I got, you know, I was able to pinpoint who was going to win, so kind of makes me feel better about myself, knowing that I know just a little bit about cinematography. Costume design, okay? Now, Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, did they win? Yeah, they did win. I forgot. They did win. And I didn't see it, because I wanted to see all the Harry Potters before, and I didn't have time to watch six movies. So I was just like, I'm going to forget about it, and uh, just pretend like it never happened. And uh, I put down, what did I put down? I put down uh, Florence Foster Jenkins' Meryl Streep's movie. And I put down Fan Fantastic Beasts, though, as my winner, and Florence as my second one. But Fantastic Beasts did win, just because from the trailers I saw that they were really cool costumes. So I was like, most likely she's going to win, So and she did win, so I was right on that. Best Director, didn't even get close. I had Moonlight's Barry Jenkins and Mel Gibson down for first and second. Moonlight, I wanted to win. And then uh, Damien Chazelle, I should have known. I should I should have really known and put him as my second one, but I did choose Moonlight's Barry Jenkins. And uh, personally, I would think maybe he should have won. But I think it was a close tie. So, you know, so, you know, directors, they have, like, overall everything. They got to deal with everything, like cinematography, script, shooting, everything. And I just think that, you know, it's just... a I don't know, it's a big job to pinpoint to one thing, like, how, how can you judge that? So it was really hard for me to judge who did better, and I just ended up deciding that I think Barry Jenkins did a better job, but I probably am wrong in the grand scheme of things, so, uh, they, is it, he's the young, he's, he's the youngest, what's his name, like, Damien Chazelle, I should know because of Damien Wayne, it should remind me, but he's like the youngest person to win that award, so congrats. I'm going to skip over documentary featurette and documentary short because best film editing went to Hacksaw Ridge. wasn't even on my radar. I chose La La Land as number one and Hello High Water as number two. I didn't even get close and uh, just like editing and I didn't even see uh, Hacksaw Ridge or Hello High Water. I only saw La La Land and those three that I nominated or two that I nominated and the one that won. I only saw La La Land, so I was just like, mm, just trying to slip that in there and just act like I knew that the editing was good when I really had nothing to compare it to in that category. So, um, yeah, I guess I can't say anything about that because I didn't see the movie. Foreign language film, let's just skip right over that. Okay. <laughs> Makeup, hair, and styling. One of the lesser known awards caused one of the biggest wars online. Suicide Squad, Oscar Academy Award winning Suicide Squad. Nobody ever thought that would be a sentence that was said, but it is. Okay, um, now who were they up against? They were up against a man, a man called Uwe, nobody knows, in Star Trek Beyond. Okay, <laughs> Suicide Squad definitely won out of that base. Uh, Star Trek Beyond. I've been meaning to watch it. It's, in, it's on Blu-ray, and I have it, but it's just like, I can never find the time to put in the Blu-ray disc. Anyway, when I saw the main villain, he, uh, is it Idris Elba? I think he is. He has a pretty, uh, not good-looking, uh, mask. The, uh, paint, the face paint, or not the face paint, just, like, body paint that they use on the characters, and then it looked, you know, pretty good, not great, and then, you know, you come to Suicide Squad, where you have, you know, Enchantress, and you have uh, Deadshot, and Harley, and Harley especially, and Joker, and just, like, all these, all these, uh, really well-done characters, the characters in Suicide Squad were the really only good thing about it, and they deserve something for that, and I do think this is the only one that they could have gotten, where, where I think that they deserved it. In this category, they definitely deserved it, so... Suicide Squad, that is my opinion on Suicide Squad having an Oscar. Let me know yours. Best score. I picked La La Land, even though I think Jackie had a really good score. I walked out of the Jackie Theater and I said, that's a really good score. And I'd never done that with any movie before. I don't know if it was where I was sitting in the theater and the speakers were hitting me in the right decibel levels. I don't know what the fuck happened. But I was just like, that's a really good score. So I put that down a second because I really wanted it to win. But of course, music, sound equals La La Land in this Oscar. So La La Land won. And that's it for 
what I'm going to read off because the other ones are just like, you know, let's read them off. You know, you got like adapted screenplay, you got all those other there. And I'm not going through all of them because, you know, it just would take too long. So those are the main ones. And I really wanted to talk about just like Suicide Squad and how funny it was that it got numb. It got, it won. And it just people are just shitting, you know, on it. And it's just like, really look at it. Star Trek Beyond or Suicide Squad? Because we're just going to rule out the other one. Star Trek Beyond or Suicide Squad? You've got to look beyond the plot and beyond the storytelling and just look at the makeup and, you know, hair. And Suicide Squad obviously takes it. So I think that that is what the people in the Academy did. They looked past it and they saw what it was. You know, they saw all the cool hair and all the cool costumes and all the cool design and costume design. So I really think that it did deserve it. And the ending was just like one of the best things ever. Like that is the shit I live for. Like you don't understand how happy that makes me when just stuff like that happens and the awkwardness. I live for awkwardness in high high standard places like the Oscars. It's the funniest thing to me because there's so much awkwardness in my life and just like Twitter and everything. And it's so funny how it it's able to translate to the biggest stage, you know, behind the Super Bowl. And it's just really, really funny and crazy to me. So that was, like, the best thing that could have ever happened to me was that mix-up. So um, let me know what you guys thought about the Oscars. Who got snubbed? Who snatched? Who did it, everything right? Did La La Land deserve a tie for the most Oscar nominations? There was a bunch to talk about about this Oscar. So let me know in the comment section. I'll reply to everybody if you uh, comment below. So, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.